Hello, Air Signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Tuesday, January 8th, 2019. I'm going to pull one card oops, from the Sacred uh, Traveler as your theme for the day. Maybe if I can get them shuffled. Okay. So your guys' theme for the day is Narrow Pathway. Tread thoughtfully. All right. So tread carefully. Let's see what, what you guys are having to be careful about. The first three cards will be you guys. Second will be who you're dealing with. Third will be your outcome. All right. The Knight of Swords in reverse is your first card out. The Two of Swords in Reverse. Your third card out is the High Priestess in Reverse. The person you are dealing with. The Queen of Cups. The Knight of Rods and the Page of Pentacles. Your guys' outcome for the day. Is the Seven of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Swords in reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. The bottom of your deck and shared overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. Clarified by the Sun in reverse. And the Eight of Cups in the upright. Or I'm sorry, did I say the Wheel of Fortune? This is the Ten of Pentacles. I apologize. I was just looking at it like, where did I see the Wheel of Fortune at? So, okay. Okay, so we'll start with your shared energy. You are walking away from a family situation. This is someone that you have invested some time in, uh, that you, um, you did value their relationship at one point in time, but, um, some things were illuminated that have, um, some things have come to light that, um, were not so good. And it's causing you guys to move forward away from this um, connection and um, allowing yourself to close out this cycle uh, with this person. Um, you guys have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So nobody's speaking the truth. Um, or not nobody. Somebody isn't, whether that be you or the person you are dealing with. Why is the Knight of Swords here for our air signs? The Page of Swords. Okay. So some immature communication is coming in. Um, it's not what you wanted to hear. Um, they're not handling it in a mature fashion. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, you do have the Two of Swords here. No longer turning a blind eye to what is going on around you. There's something that um, was done behind your back or in the dark that is being illuminated with the sun. You're no longer going to choose to stay in this relationship. Could be with an Aquarius. Um, and you're moving forward. You're moving on. You're ending this cycle. Um, you're taking the blindfold off. And you are going to begin to heal. Um, in the time of Aquarius also, you could be taking this blindfold off. So you could be preparing to leave this person at the end of the month. Um, but no longer, no longer hiding from the truth. Uh, there was secrets that are coming out. It's going to cause you to have to heal. You're going to take a step back. You're going to, um, to put yourself in that hanging tree and you're just going to watch. You're just going to, um, see things from a different perspective, begin the healing process and not come out until you are fully healed. Um, 
the person that you are dealing with, they do have unconditional love for you. They do want to come forward and make you a love offer. Um, I do feel, however, that this is somebody new. This is not the person that you are leaving. Um, and there wasn't a third party here, I don't feel. Um, if there was, it wasn't like a, a, a committed third party. It was like a, um, like a fling, you know, like an, uh, you know, like a one night stand and it's being illuminated. Um, and you are leaving, you are walking away from this person, um, needing to heal from the hurt that this person caused. Um, you're not listening to your intuition, however, and that is needed, um, because you do have somebody new coming towards you. I do feel this is a life partner or a soulmate, but this is a person that has a lot of love for you. Um, they adore you and they are going to make you an offer of love. Uh, this person has a lot of passion, a lot of, uh, passion for life even. Let's see. Why is the night of rods here? Whoa. Yeah. Okay. This is somebody who is destined to meet you. You, this person is destined to come towards you. Um, they, yeah, it's, it's predetermined that this person's coming into your life. Um, this is also, you could be moving in with somebody you love or a mother. Uh, you could be leaving this person and moving in with a parent. Uh, but for the majority of you, this is somebody who, this is a male energy, younger, who is coming towards you. Um, you are the older female uh, in this group that I'm seeing. As you see the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Cups. And then the Knight of Rods with the Queen of Wands, or uh, Cups. So most definitely, uh, this is a younger male energy coming towards you, air sign. Yeah, and they're going to make you an offer. They're going to ask you to take a leap of faith with them. They're going to ask you to um, to set out on this journey. Like I said, you could be moving residence with the Knight of Rods. But this is just that new young energy, that fresh, uh, innocent love. Well, not even really love. This is a new relationship. That innocence of a new beginning, a new relationship. Allowing the heaviness of the situation that you are walking away from to be in the past. And um, most definitely uh, getting a love offer from somebody. This is somebody new. I don't feel that you have been with this person before. Um, you do, uh, why is the seven of rods here and the ten of swords and the two of knuckles. Okay. So, um, you are making the choice to no longer stand and fight for this relationship that you are getting out of. You are making a decision most definitely with the two of swords here twice this is a decision that you've thought long and hard about, and you are no longer going to fight for this relationship. Um, you are walking away from this. You are ending the cycle with the Ten of Swords in reverse with somebody who betrayed you. This is somebody that you have a family with or a commitment with, but you are walking away from somebody who stabbed you in the back and, um, and didn't do right by you. Uh, when you do that, the Wheel of Fortune is spinning in your favor, and that's when this person is coming in for you, this destined person, this person that's fated to be in your life. When you end this cycle, when you walk away from this person that betrayed you, you will then um, get your uh, true love coming in. But you have to let that cycle end and move away from it. I do feel in the time of Aquarius is when you're going to walk away. Um, you're going to find balance in your life again. You're no longer um, sticking around for this, this fight that is just bound to happen. Um, you are finding harmony in the midst of all the changes. You are finding balance. You are finding love again, and you are, uh, let you're finding balance. Once you walk away from this situation that is really hurtful, really cutting, um, you are walking away from this energy and finding balance again beautiful, uh, energy after you get through this, um, kind of tough time walking away from this, um, relationship that really hurt you that where there was secrets, 
um, betrayal. Uh, it's hard for you to walk away, but once you do, you're going to realize why uh, that was the best choice for you because you have true love coming in. All right. One card for our air signs for Tuesday. This is the first reading. You guys are the last element I've had. And this is the best reading I have had uh, since, or like all of them have been so negative. This is a positive reading. You do have to get uh, your energy cleared from the situation that you are ending. But once you do, um, divine timing is at work. Your person is coming in. They are worth the wait. Um, or divine timing is at work in your love life. So they are trying to clear out that cycle that you are completing and bringing in somebody who is fated. I kept saying that it's fated, destined for you to be. Um, make sure you love yourself first. Uh, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. But most importantly, clear your energy um, of uh, relationships of the past, of that betrayal. Begin that healing process and the universe is bringing you in true love very soon. So I send you guys love, light, and God bless.